OK, joined by Noel Ryan, the Dublin Masters manager ahead of Saturday's Dr Mick Loftus All-Ireland uh, Masters football semi-final against Tyrone. The game taking place in Lacken in County Cavan on Saturday at uh, 2 o'clock. Uh, Niall, first things first, how are preparations going uh, for the game this weekend? Going really good, Derek, yeah. Very, very, very happy with this year so far. Uh, six games in, six wins. Um, great bunch of lads together this year. We got a lot of new faces in this year, which has really added to the panel. So. Yeah, very, very happy. I think we're in good shape for Saturday. Yeah. Um, it's, you're, you're no stranger to Masters football. You've been involved with the Masters for uh, a good few years at this stage. This is your first year, though, as a manager as well. Have you found, first of all, being involved with the Masters over the past number of years and then obviously this year stepping up to the manager's plate? I love it, Derek, yeah. Um, I got involved playing back in 2011 for a couple of years. I think Dublin stepped out of the competition for a number of years. They came back into it in 2018. I wasn't involved. They won it that year. Um, and I've been there in the, in, as part of the management group since 2019, but delighted to take on the management role this year, yeah. Um, from the point of view of the Masters footballers, again, people would look at it and n maybe wouldn't be sure what to expect, I guess, from the, from the Masters footballers. What sort of atmosphere is in the place? Because it seems like it's a good crack. People enjoy it. We spoke to Bernard already, and he's sp spoken about the fact that he enjoys it. It's a good crack, but also quite competitive as well. Yeah, quite competitive. All these lads have played at a, a very high standard. They mightn't have played inter-county like Bernard and some of the other players, but they've all played at a very high level with club, maybe represented Dublin at a lower level at some stage. Uh, so once they put on that blue jersey, yeah, it, it's very competitive. But the atmosphere in, in the group is really, really good this year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, plenty of buy-in as well from um, a lot of guys. You said yourself, you've got a lot of new faces this year, which has obviously helped to the panel in terms of keeping it fresh. The likes of Bernard, who spoke, a Eamon Fennell, Ross McConnell, players like that coming through as well. So plenty of buy-in this year from a, a, a lot of guys throughout the county who obviously can help you build a squad there. Yeah, I, I'd say we've probably got 12 or 15 new, new faces in this year into the dressing room. That's really helped us, you know. That's what they need to do in Masters, you know, you, you can't, with over 40s, you can't just keep going with the same panel for six or seven years. You know, there's a huge difference between a 40-year-old and a 46-year-old, so very important to get, we'll call them fresh legs in, yeah, every year, yeah. Yeah, fresh maybe isn't the word to no. use, but there you go. Uh, Dublin, from the point of view of the Masters, I think won it in 2018. is the last time they've won it. They've been close over the past few years. You have been close over the past few years to, to winning it again, but haven't been, been quite be able to get over the line. Uh, so this year is obviously a big opportunity for yourselves uh, this weekend against Tyrone to try and get into an All-Ireland final again. Yeah, absolutely. We haven't won it since 2018. We've been very, very close. We've been in a couple of finals, semi-final last year. Uh, Tyrone are the team to beat. We, you know, we generally meet them. This is the business end of it. We're in an All-Ireland semi-final now. We generally meet them in the finals or the semi-finals. So we're not going to make any conclusions out of beating them earlier on in the competition. This will be a whole different ball game now on Saturday. We're, we're sure of that, yeah. You said you, you faced obviously Tyrone, beat Tyrone already in this uh, championship. How has the season gone overall? How happy have you been from your own point of view with the, with the setup and with, with everything this year? Obviously six games uh, played, six games won, but it's obviously gone pretty well for yourself so far this year. Oh, it has gone well, yeah. yeah. Um, some very tough games. We, you know, I, I would say we got a tough group. We have to play six games, there's, there's 24 counties. We had to beat Kerry, we had to beat Tyrone, so we haven't had an easy group, which to be honest is good. It brings us on gets us more competitive for the, for the semi-final and, and hopefully the final to come. Yeah. And finally, what can you expect from Tyrone this weekend? You mentioned again, you've already played them, you know, I guess, what they're about, but it's easier said than done to beat them. So what can you expect from this weekend? Yeah, they're going to be real up for it. We did beat them. We beat them well a couple of weeks ago, as Bernard mentioned. Um, they're really going to be up for it. They've had some very big wins after playing us. So I, I, I'd say we rattled the cage a bit. Uh, they've some big names back in. We're expecting to see Stephen O'Neill, Marty McGrath, Conor Gormley out there this weekend. But I, I, I think it'll be a very competitive game. Uh, but we, we feel in, in, in really good form going up to this game. Um, everything's going well, everyone's fit, training's going well. So um, really looking forward to it, I would say. A absolutely looking forward to this Saturday, yeah. Good stuff. And sorry, finally, one word on the support, because I know you got a decent support the last time out uh, against Wicklow. Yeah. Uh, lacking only about an hour, an hour and a half of the road, depending on where you are in Dublin. So I'm sure you're looking for big support again this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we, we, we'd love people to travel up. It's, it's the Dublin side of Cavan, so just over an hour. But uh, look, it's great to, to get that bit of support on the sideline. It, it is an All-Ireland semi-final. The lads are putting in great effort, so we'd appreciate the support on Saturday. Yeah.